Hey True Seekers, it's Nathaniel and Levi here today. We are going to be doing a shorter video and we are going to... Short. Yeah, shorter video. And we are going to be talking about Faith and Hope Fellowship. Okay? So, Faith and Hope both have uh, two things really strong going for it. They're able to produce a, um, a lot of virtue points very quickly, but at the sacrifice of removing the power cards. Isn't that right, Levi? Yeah. So faith discards their power cards and hope um hope shuffles their power cards back into their deck. But because these two are um you know part of the original three, they are on prayer. So you can use prayer in your faith and hope decks. Alright? Isn't that right, Levi? Yeah? Okay. So to start with we have Glimmer level one. From cross trainers a uh, glimmer level one is a two virtue point for one uh hope but has that five uh five faith fellowship bonus all right and you have glimmer glimmer is a six for two with a ten faith fellowship bonus okay uh two for ten is actually pretty good especially for a level two um, but you have Love that normally has two for tens as their um, big support uh, animal. So, moving on. The last of our Hope animal that have a Faith Fellowship bonus is Flamingo Level 2. Flamingo Level 2 um, is a two for nine. You shuffle one of those power cards back, but can also become a two for 12 for Level 2, which is very strong for Level 2. You will notice that of these three Hope Animo, um, Flamingo is probably the most supported, but I prefer to use Glimmer in my decks because it's a one cost, and I'm just looking to get quick points, and I'll use my Professor to go grab it, and it, it's pretty good. Um, not to say these two are bad, but none of these have actions or abilities, so I must rather use Animo that are actually going to do something for me throughout the game, rather than only have the Fellowship bonus. Okay, and then one of the cards that we have to, we're going to make this video, um, I did make a Hope and Faith Fellowship bonus deck, or um, <laughs> a, a strategy video like this before, and I include a lot more cards, but um, this is one of the few cards that we're making this update video for. Uh, so this is the new Maceal. Maceal is a 2 for 5. And has the fellowship bonus of a seven well, with hope animal. So this may seems pretty good. Um, being a two cost and not having an action, uh, I don't think I'm going to really necessarily prioritize this one. It's like one of those animal that if I have room left over, I will add into a deck. But it is a two for seven for a level one, which is pretty good for a faith animal. Next up is we got Spark Cube, level one from Cross Trainers. So this Spark Cube. Is a one for three or becomes a five fellowship bonus. And it can grow into Spark Cube level two. There's another Spark Cube level one um, that you could run. I prefer this one because of the Hope Fellowship bonus. And I also run this in my Hope and Faith deck. Um, this Spark Cube, however, um, is a one for seven that you have to discard that power card. But it could be a one for ten, which is also really good. Um, I actually had built a deck that used that's basically a hope and a faith fellowship deck that can get like 72 points in a single turn, but it's a very specific strategy and it's not as good as say like using Armorino with the consistency that Armorino provides, but it uses this guy to help get to that 72, it actually uses two of these guys to get to that 72. All right. The last of our Hope Fellowship Animo is this Lumini here, all right? Uh, Lumini is very strong. It is a three for 13, which is great for level three, but can go all the way up to a 16 um, and has an amazing action that says, you may select up to three standard power cards from your discard pile and place them directly into your power pool. Uh, so this is really good. It's like one of the most powerful animals that are able to get you uh, power cards into your power pool during your score phase. Okay. 
Uh, so he's a 16 if you activate him with hope, which if you compare this to Oinkum, with for two Oinkums, you can get 16 virtue points and four power cards, but you're paying four for them. Lumini, however, you're paying three four to get three back and can become a 16. And a three for 16 rather than a four for 16 is better virtue point to power card ratio. But you are giving up a power card in that kind of scenario. Okay, since we're talking about our fellowships, we have Letter to Thessalonica and Letter to Ephesus. Letter for Thessalonica lets you search your deck for an animo that provides that hope fellowship bonus, so you can grab your Lumi level 3. And you can use Letter to Ephesus to go grab your Flame Mean Girl level 2. Okay, since it grabs a Faith Fellowship bonus. Now also new cards that came out this set are David Sling and King Scepter. Okay, these are going to be the last cards that we talk about in this video. Um, because, so King Scepter says, when attached to a Faith, Love, or Holy Spirit animal, this card turns any Fellowship bonus into a Hope Fellowship bonus. This card has no effect on an animal that does not already have a Fellowship bonus. And then David Sling says, when attached to a Hope love or holy spirit animal this card turns any fellowship bonus into a faith fellowship bonus this card has no effect on an animal that does not already have a fellowship bonus all right so the the application of this card or, or these cards is not to take an animal that already has a matching fellowship bonus for your deck it's actually to take an animal that does not have a fellowship bonus that matches and you can equip this card to it and transform its fellowship bonus into hope. So now this animal, Plucky, would be in have a fellowship bonus of eight with a hope animal. All right. Same thing with this card. It these cards are about about giving you the ability of say, you know what. You must you want to run the new Agape Sword from Fearless that has a 12 fellowship bonus for hope. You're going to equip David Sling to it, and you're going to make it a 12 fel a fellowship bonus for faith instead. No. Um, these are decent cards. I think they are necessary to exist in the game. I don't think I'm going to prioritize using them though. No. Alright. No. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close. Yeah, Levi? Yeah, I'll get that right after the video is done, okay? So this has been our strategy video for Lumini. Hey. Uh, uh, not for Lumini, but for our Faith Hi. and Hope Fellowship. Hey. All right? So hey. meantime, true seekers, keep learning virtues and defeating hey. sins.